Hello, hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Flu Powder TV, a place for Harry Potter junkies. I'm your host, Flu. <laughs> I think my name was funny, do you? Today we're gonna be reacting to Hogwarts renders made in Blender. Let's check it out. So the first Hogwarts that we're looking at is made by Pietro Chiovato. This is such like a vast land to make in Blender. Like, I wonder what scale they used. I have Blender and I started doing the donut tutorial, but- We didn't get very far on that. <laughs> I'm really curious about the scale. This is amazing. You can change the weather in Blender? Yo! <laughs> oh, they're showing how they did it. Also, they took a picture. Oh, this is how they're doing it. This is so cool. I can't even imagine how long this took. Let me check the description to see if they say. So they're a Harry Potter fan. They don't say how long it took them to make this, though. I'm so confused because, like, they're using the photo as, like, a reference. I didn't even know that you could insert a photo and have it look like that inside Blender. <laughs> This, this level of detail is insane. It's like you can't be mad that they didn't add anything other than just Hogwarts because this is this alone is just taking so long. They're paying attention to so much detail too. Like it's insane. They're taking the pieces and making it based on, it's almost kind of like tracing, but digital. Okay, so like a digital trace. Look how much they have done already. I could try and learn this. I don't know if I have the patience to do anything like this. I tried to build Hogwarts in Lego Fortnite and because Lego Fortnite was having some sort of thing and it was there was like an error message popping up, it wouldn't let me complete the build. But I was going to I was going to do it and but like I can't imagine doing this in this software. They got the viaduct courtyard, it's very nice. The detail is just insane. I I can't even. They're doing it like based off the picture, like, and they're trying to make sure that everything's right. I probably would half-ass it to be honest. Look, every window, every every crack, every nook and cranny, they're just getting it. Holy shit! They've even added freaking lighting. If people can do this in Blender, there should be zero excuse for video games looking like crap. <laughs> <laughs> do you, you look at all this going on look at all this happening how do you even keep track of all this this is a level of creativity i have yet to reach the next hogwarts render that we're going to see in blender is from camcio 44 let's check it out Ooh. <laughs> get out Wow, this is insane. They've even got like the little pathway coming down the mountain lit up. Like this is where they, they take the boats, like the first years enter through here. Honestly, this kind of gives me like a twilight vibe, you know, like this, the weather. So you're enjoying the rain? <sighs> this is fucking insane. Okay, so they say that they used a... Uh, a 3D model of Hogwarts by Jan Blaha. I probably pronounced that wrong. I'm sorry. Uh, they used it as a base and they, they basically kind of fine-tuned it. They're creative on another level. I wish that we could get a close-up of the actual render. Like, I just want a closer look at things. And I know you can move the camera super close, but I'm not sure what happens when you have too much going on. I don't know, like, if, if you can't have the camera that close. So maybe that's why they didn't show a close up. It's just like inch by inch, every detail is just added. But the, the crazy part is like the other creator did create from scratch. This one used a base, but it's still a lot to do inside a digital software. The next Hogwarts render that we're looking at that was made in Blender was uploaded by Bing Nadine. I can already see the scale. It's I just can't. It's so good. The the water effect is super super cool. Like the lake. The music is so dramatic. <laughs> see, we get a close up here, a closer look at things. Very nice. We got the viaduct courtyard. We got the bridge over here. Oh, we're zooming in. We're getting close. Why couldn't the other people do this with the camera? Okay, we're going on a full tour around the render. This is insane. How did they maneuver the camera like this? Holy. That's amazing. 
the amount of time that it must take to learn blender i just i tried it with the donut tutorial like i said and i just i don't know if i'm prepared to learn something like that you know but these people just made something and they made it work that was all very impressive that they could do that i'm sure i could if i took the time but you know they did it so i don't have to i love reacting to things so if you guys want me to see something you can join my discord or comment down below and i'll check it out thank you so much for watching if you like it give it a thumbs up consider subscribing and i'll see you guys on the next one